Um, 
was not buying clothes, I really was not buying shoes, unless it was for like my wedding or my bachelorette or things like that. Um, so I'm just so glad that I can like shop again. So I've been really focused on like work clothes and like basics. Um, but I need some more going out stuff too. I'm, I keep looking over at my closet. So yeah, I've been shopping a lot. I got a new um, Dagny Dover bag, backpack too, that I'm excited about. I got it in like a larger size because I do have a medium one. You guys know I love their, their stuff. Um, so maybe I'll have to do like a longer version of like a what's in my work bag for you guys. Because I did like a little what's in my work bag for TikTok um, with my current backpack. Um, yeah, and I just have a lot going on right now. Um, so the only like downside again, like the hybrid schedule is like a sweet and sour. <laughs> Bittersweet. <laughs> sweet and sour. It's bittersweet. It's also sweet and sour. Um, I, th I think that coming into the office has 100% helped me to build relationships quicker. Although, again, I'm still so new, but it's helped me build relationships quicker. Um, bond with my team, right? Like, they took me to lunch understand like who's who like seeing people and whatever um so that part's been good and it's also helped me with like my routine as far as like you know waking up at a certain time and being a little bit more tired you guys know I've had issues with my sleeping which I did get medicine for um although I took it and I don't know if it like truly worked more on that later. Um, but I wish there was one less day I was going into the office because I'm really struggling to find balance. Um, honestly, I talked about this in my audio on my website, but specifically a lot really around like YouTube, right? Um, because when I worked from home, I could finish the day and immediately start filming or I could film in the morning before work um, and it really didn't like interrupt anything I could even do it like I could edit I wouldn't really film on my lunch break but I could like edit on my lunch um, and it's I can't do that you know for, for the most part um, you know being home or I'm sorry being in the office so I'm trying to balance that with like working at a working out as the other that's another thing too like I usually would work out uh, Monday Wednesday Fridays and I'm finding a little bit of a struggle with that I'm even considering going to like a 6 30 a.m workout class tomorrow but I don't know if that's realistic <laughs> so I'm basically what all this to say I'm trying to find that routine um so that I can, you know, I don't know, for me, like, I feel really good in my routine, but, like, right now, it's 7.45 at night, and once I'm done with this, I will say I've eaten dinner, like, lunches are packed, like, 
stress is gone. Like, I put so much money into my savings today when I got paid. Um, because I was like, let's go, baby. Like, I couldn't really, really save for a year and a half. And, like, I'm such a saver. And I want to buy a house, um, in two years. And so I'm like, we're gonna just do it. Like, so I am inspired and, like, motivated with all that. Um, I mean, that's, like, mostly everything that's been going on. My sister's wedding is coming up, um, in July, so that's pretty soon. It's, like, about a month from when you guys are seeing this video. And then my honeymoon is honestly really soon, too. I will eventually make a video talking about that. I have, like, some excursions and things that, um, I planned, but I do have to, like, plan some more. We're going on a cruise, um, a European cruise, and it starts in Rome, ends in Athens, and in between that it's, um, the Amalfi Coast, um, Sicily, Ephesus, Turkey, uh, Santorini, Mykonos, I think that's it. Um, so I'm so excited. It doesn't feel, like, real at this point because it's still, like, far, but now that we're in June, like, it's really not. So, you know, I've been, like, booking these, like, private tours or whatever because with the cruise, you, you basically stop in a new port each day and you're just there for one day and you might be there for like 12 hours, you know, 7A to 7B, right? So I don't want to waste any time like futzing around and like, you know, being in like these group tours or like just roaming, exploring on our own. Like, I don't like that. I think it's a waste of time for me personally. I'm not good at it. Like, we, me and Tony are not good at that. Like, we would get off the boat and be like, so where do we go? And like, to research and like, curate a day um, is hard. So like, I just been going, like, TripAdvisor has like, you know, things to do section where you can like, do a million things from like, boats to group tours or private stuff to cooking classes and other tours and whatever your heart desires. So I'm just literally doing like a bunch of those. Um, and I'll tell you guys more about them in another video where I like break everything down in detail, but it's like a boat day, one day in Positano, um, you know, a winery a uh, tour of like two different wineries and like a little hike and like whatever another day and then another day I don't even remember I will say when we're in Santorini, Santorini and Mykonos we're gonna do at least like half a day at like um a uh, pool or like a beach club thing cause they're known for those and th those will be like time to relax but like I already set up, like, even for Santorini, like, I set up, like, a short tour, like, a four-hour tour of, like, other stuff that we could do from, like, you know, 9.30 to 1.30, and then, like, you know, get dropped off at the beach club at that time, and then have a beach day for the rest of the day until we have to leave, you know, whatever. If you hear my neighbors, this is, like, what I hear every day. It's fine. It's just we're on top of each other. Um, I can only imagine. I would if I was on the other side of the wall and heard myself. I would probably just have to like leap from the roof. On that note, and they love to vacuum. This the neighbors on this side are always vacuuming like at night. I have kids are probably just cleaning up messes and stuff. On that note, I'm done anyway. Um, and it's honestly, oh, I will say this last thing, like right now, it's eight o'clock. The fact that I'm able to film here with my natural lighting, like is a blessing. I am so glad I started this job in summer to like, I'm also taking like public transportation.